Today I'm excited to show you how organizations can build and establish their own private enterprise registry for MCP servers. This is all about empowering your organization to better discover, govern and share MCP servers internally. To keep pace with the rapidly growing MCP server ecosystem, organizations need a way to transform this chaos into a governed, secure and easily shareable environment. Organizations can now do this by leveraging Azure API Center. Check out mcp.azure.com that provides a public showcase of what such an MCP registry can look like in practice. Looking at the website, all of this experience is powered by Azure API Center. To make discovery easier, we've included powerful search and filter functionalities. I've added several filtered categories, like MCP type, where you can select transport types like remote or local servers. You can also filter by vendor association, such as Microsoft or partners. You can even expose additional information like categories. Now, let's take a look under the hood. As I mentioned, everything is powered by Azure API Center. API Center now supports the MCP type, which means you can register MCP servers directly in your registry. We also use the concept of metadata, which allows you to define customizable fields to store with your MCP servers. For this registry, I've added six different metadata fields. These are all pieces of information I want to store for each server and display in my portal. For example, my GitHub MCP server has the following metadata, like visibility is set to true, category is developer tools, and vendor is Microsoft. All of this information is what you see and can consume on the mcp.azure.com page. Within the Azure portal, I can also filter based on this metadata. For instance, I can search for all public MCP server endpoints currently in my registry by using the category endpoint filter. A public endpoint means it points directly to a public URL like the Microsoft Learn Remote MCP Server URL. We are collaborating with Microsoft partners to bring their remote MCP servers into API Center. This allows organizations to quickly find trusted partners and see what remote MCP servers are available. We encourage placing a gateway between your client and the server. And this is where Azure API Management, our AI gateway comes in. From within API Center, you can now connect to your API's gateway solution. This ensures that when you register a partner solution, it also gets deployed to your API management resource. Please note that this feature is currently being rolled out and might not yet be available in your region. That's exactly what I did with the Microsoft Learn Remote MCP server. I put it behind an AI gateway, giving me a private endpoint. When I switched back to my API Center registry, I created a new entry for the Microsoft Learn MCP server, but this time it points to my API management endpoint instead. So how do we get from the Azure portal to the developer portal you saw in the browser before? Every API Center comes with a built-in API Center portal that's powered by a data plane API. However, I wanted to change the layout and customize it to have the look and feel of my MCP Center. With the help of GitHub Copilot, I was able to build this custom UI that connects to the API Center data on the backend. Let's take a close look at some of the configurations. On the setting page, you can configure visibility. First, I enabled anonymous access by disabling authentication on the data plane API. This allows anyone to consume my developer portal view, and that's how I build my public showcase. In addition to that, I set a visibility configuration to only allow MCP servers with the data tag visibility set to true to appear in the portal. I also configured which metadata should be consumed through my data plane API. Since we have the visibility configuration, let's make sure our latest added MCP Learn MCP server shows up in the portal. I will navigate to my new MS Learn MCP server and I will change its visibility to true. Once I save this and refresh my portal view, I can now see the new filter category AI Gateway. The MS Learn Remote MCP server also now appears. And if you look at the endpoint, you will see it now points to my API management gateway. For ease of consumption, I can now click the Install in VS Code button. Once I'm in VS Code, I can start my MCP server. 
This opens my VS Code output window and shows me if my remote MCP server is running and how many tools it has. I'm now ready to use this MCP server with GitHub Copilot in agent mode. For this demo, I'm going to select only the MS Learn server. With that done, I'll now ask Copilot a sample question, like can I use API Center as an MCP registry? Copilot will now run the MS Learn MCP server based on my question. It looks like Copilot has detected that it needs to run it twice, prompting me to click continue each time. And perfect, I now have the answer to my question. Again, notice that instead of pointing directly to the public endpoint, we use our own MCP endpoint, which is securely placed behind an API management service. In API management, you can configure policies to better control traffic or for security reasons. Another key reason we put it behind an API management instance is for better observability. And for this demo, I enabled Application Insights. Within App Insights, I've created my own workbook to monitor specific MCP metrics for the MCP Learn server. For example, I can now see how often my MCP server called failed or succeeded. And I can even get a regional analysis to see where my requests are coming from. This is just a glimpse of how you can manage, secure, and monitor your remote MCP servers at an enterprise level. I encourage you all to check out mcp.azure.com to learn more about our solutions. Thank you so much for watching.